Could I upgrade the port in advance? I could, couldn't I? Let's upgrade the port instead. So the port will be ready when I um, upgrade the large um, spice plantation, so it'll be able to carry the goods then. Now let's have a look, see if I've got any great estates around here that I can use. Mm, there's one. No, just slightly too expensive, isn't it? I'm just going to whiz through all the buildings just to see what I can spend my 775 on. See if there is anything. This is whizzing through every building um, that there is on my campaign map at the moment. Uh, I'm looking to see something that's a solid colour at the bottom instead of so sort of like faded out like that. Um, ah, now there's one. I could have in here, in Savoy, I could build something in there. What I'll do is I'll, I'll have a look over in India. There might be one in there that's that I need more. Right, here we go. Here's one. Yeah, let's... Um, ah, we could upgrade this one, couldn't we, then? And it's money better well spent as well. So, uh, I think that's about it for um, the uh, turn end of winter 1751. Not very exciting at the moment, I'm afraid, because um, all I'm doing is kicking ministers and, um, you know, moving spies around and, um, and making money, you know. But um, uh, other than that... Uh, it could be a little bit dull, but um, anyway, if I whiz through these, it shouldn't be too bad. Ah, now, here's me saying it's going to be dull, um, but there's a chance of an intercept. 12.53, um, 11.01. Um, again, it's um, what, what happens on an intercept is he tries to attack my um, my fortification. Any damage to the fortification will still be shown as damage, and I don't get the benefits of Chevy de Free or the benefits of um, the um, the Philoc Arms citizenry that might have been in there. So I've got to fight him without that. So anyway, I'm going to fight this one. Um, it's the usual thing, big square in the middle, firing at him. You can see uh, where I've done that lots of times in the past. So um, I will skip this battle as well. Well, you can see how dull that battle was to watch. Um, I lost 35 men in that. He lost 699. Yeah. Um, he managed to come away with 402. How he did that, I just don't know. Probably because I didn't chase him. hope I got rid of some of his guns, though. And we have the puddling furnace, and whether that's because we put an extra gentleman in there or or other upgrades that have uh, achieved it for us, I really don't know. Uh, let's have a look now and see what it's going to get for us next. It's going to get this um, irrigation thing, isn't it, I think? Is that the one that we want, or shall we be going for something else? That's 19, that's the fire in advance. 
Oh no, that's fire in advance. Platoon firing, I think, is better than fire in advance. Uh, nearly got all the things that we need along here, haven't we? Uh, let's have a look. I think it might be an idea to get that, actually, to be honest. Uh, point three to growth of firm farms reduces the chance of food shortages, enhances national prestige. Doesn't seem to give me a lot, does it? But I'm pretty sure there are buildings that you need um, to have that for. So uh, I think I'll, I'll I will I'll keep that. We'll go with that recommendation. Technology theft failed. Where is he? Come on! It always goes out. You know, zooms out before it zooms in, even though you've asked it to zoom in. Still research. We want. I don't want any of that. Is that the one we're looking for at the moment elsewhere? We could try and steal wealth of the nations, couldn't we? 25% uh, growth in um, uh, trade route income. That sounds like a good one, doesn't it? I think we'll have that one if we can get it, of course. Now then, technology theft failed. Construction report, lots and lots of nice buildings there. Uh, plus the um, the fortress uh, in French Guyana as well. That's what we already know about. Nation destroyed, Cherokee. I don't think I'm too worried about the Cherokee. Natural cause, Protestant missionary. One of my missionaries died. Natural causes. Oh, gentleman. Ah, now that explains why I haven't had the option in America to... Um, Oh, it's a good job I'm taking the spy over there then, isn't it, really? Ta new town emerges. Might have to do something about that. Might not. Electricity. Okay. Yeah, that explains, doesn't it, why I wasn't told that um, theft had failed up there in America. I've got a gentleman here I was going to... In fact, I still will. I'll send him over here as a, a spy. It's going to take ages and ages to get over to Boston anyway. So let's get him in that direction. I'm interested in what's coming in over there, you see, because it's owned by Austria. And uh, Austria are now an enemy. And this area here, just south, this Mexican area here, is very, very lucrative. And the last thing I want to do is be losing that, that income. Because um, um, th now's the time of my spending spree. Okay, so that's that. So now I had sent a fleet down, hadn't I? Somewhere, wherever it is to go and get a spy. Let's see how far away he's got. Or rather how close he's got. Here he is. And then, come on, let me have you. There you are. And I'm going to move him down to here to pick up this spy. Or rake, as I say. I'm going to use him as a spy, of course. Agent. Board the ship. Right. I thought I spotted another one there then, but there isn't one, is there? Okay. Ah, there is something in there though. What's that? Uh, let's go and have a look. What I'm hoping to is to do is get into America and drop some spies off in America. Yeah, there is. There's another one there, isn't there? Right, we'll have him as well. We'll put him on the ship and we'll drop them both off in America and see um, what's happening over there and you know, see if we can work out how close he is to uh, revolution, etc. OK, I'm moving a, a ship round here to join this fleet, aren't I? Uh, he's still pirating on there, which is good. I wonder how much he's actually taking from there. Uh, Austria. 401, actually. That's with me raiding from him, so yeah, I must be doing some good there. Now then. Well, it's uh, the spending spree, isn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, I know. Let's just have a quick look at here. Ah, yeah, this is what I was worried about, you see. This four, this clamour for reform. People in government is giving me a minus. I'm getting a minus three for people in government. I don't know why. 56% now, that government, in popularity. I, I don't understand it. It started two turns ago, it was 80-odd. Then it went down to 70-something, I think. And now it's down to 50-something. My people are just not happy with this government, are they? And I've replaced one of them already. Um, there are still a few noughts in that. I'm just going to kick the whole lot. I'm going to call a general election.